hello welcome to another week so i have um unboxed my badge machine which i will show you next uh not my badge machine my mirror machine it is a badge machine i just got a bigger die um to make mirrors i'm not 100 percent happy with the results so far but you know we'll I'm used to having to really yank down the handle, but actually the harder you push, the flatter the mirror goes, but it goes flat in different areas, it's really bizarre. So um, you've got to be really gentle with it, but then I'm worried it's not sealed properly. So anyway, I need to experiment with that today. Um, I've been doing a commission for the lovely Jane from Jane's Candles and Wax Melts. She wanted <coughs> A design very similar to a design that she already had so I created this little pattern for her and I printed it on some mugs but I have also printed it on some face masks and they've gone spectacularly wrong because the elastic da -da, has melted and all over my press as well so that's not so good um, another exciting thing that I will show you in a bit is that I've been asked to do a load of samples for one of my suppliers so that they can use my photographs on their website, which is quite exciting. And I use this pattern to go with it. So I'll show you that in a bit. <coughs> um, what else have I got to show you? Oh, I've got some new samples actually more new samples from the same company that they want me to test out for scarf hangers or lead holders or it could be all sorts of things so um i will do that with you too and um yeah i'll just carry on <laughs> see you in a bit hello so i have a parcel here that i've not opened yet for something hopefully exciting Now, I haven't, like I said, I haven't opened it yet, although the packaging, look at the packaging. How awful is that? Anyway, I've got a new die system for my badge maker. For bigger badges, but not just that. So, if I... Oh. take this one out so this is my uh, 42 millimeter um, press the nice thing about these machines is you can just um, buy new presses for them which just makes life so much easier so this is oh probably want to keep those safe I just dropped these bits um, but I need these bits for putting the machine. So it slides on. It's quite, it is quite easy. I'm just hoping it fits all right on here. Okay, let's see how we go. the other bung on the other side so that it doesn't slide out there we go okay so that's the bigger one and it will do badges this size let me just show you the comparison of the badge sizes that I've got so this is the one that I normally do so you can see it's quite a bit bigger this is the mini size that I do and I also have another size in between but apparently I don't have any badges made up to that size so that's I have four size badge makers in all Let's see if I can see it but oh in fact there is one there you go so this is 25 this is 32 this is 42 I think and this is 56, something like that. Anyway, I haven't got it to make badges out of, believe it or not. Something far more exciting. And it's in here and it's heavy. Ooh. <clears throat> 
so I thought I would give it a go making one with you now I have not tried this before um, so I don't know where everything goes quite frankly so we've got the this is the um, the bit that goes on the front that the image goes over and then they have this very very thin plastic there's this which is um, a rim and then I'm going to have to put this straight in a box I think because they're going to go everywhere some mirrors look you can see the camera hello eee. so mirror okay so like I said, this doesn't come with any instructions. I have honestly no idea how this is going to work. I don't even know what size. Oh, I do know what size because I need to do it the size of this paper. And I'm going to do a test run. I've been trying to get mirrors printed for the lovely Liz Yule for a while. And the, the quality just hasn't come up on the sublimation printing. So we're going to try this. And... <clears throat> Hopefully this should be interesting, so we shall see. Let's just work out the size that we need. Because I don't think I have a punch that's going to be big enough for this. Right, what does that say? We shall see how we go. Okay, so I'm going to position that centrally on the logo I hope this cutter is just so annoying but we'll see how we go this is just a test run okay so we're going to put this bit in there that bit and the thin plastic like that I'm going to push it across and I'm going to pull the handle down. I hope it's connecting up all right. There we go. Now, I'm assuming we're going to go put that in like that. I'm just trying to think which way around. Yes, like that. Oh, gosh, right, okay. I'm a bit concerned that this is not the right way around. There we go. Oh, it has kind of worked. Look at that. It's buckled slightly, but for a first attempt. Yeah, it sort of feels, I think that extra push was not the best thing to do because I've pushed it in here. But look, it's my first little mirror. Isn't that cute?
Hello. So I'm going to show you all these tins that I did. So um, the metal blanks company that I use for a lot of my products is called Sudley Metals and they are great and I have used them absolutely loads and um, I quite often send them photos of what I've done. I know some I've had um, Claire from OK Doodle she had seen some of my pictures that I'd sent into uh, on one of their newsletters. Anyway they do absolutely loads of stuff but it's all metal based and um, they asked me if I would do some stock photos for them and test out a few products which was really exciting because I've never been asked to do anything like that before. So they have, there's quite a lot of different things. This is one of them. So I'm really wrapped up. I am absolutely freezing. This is one of their original tins and it has a little window. Now what happened before is I used to have a, um, a piece that was, that covered the whole thing that it didn't use to come with a little insert. I quite like it with a little insert. It's kind of nice. The only thing is, is this one doesn't fit very well. So, um, but as I was doing it as a temporary thing for a photo shoot, it doesn't matter because I want to take it out anyway. But I did experiment making a bangle, which is another thing that they supply. They supply it in a flat sheet and I printed it. This is the um, same pattern. Um, they have different... It's kind of nice, but it is a tiny, tiny bit flimsy. But I think if you were having like um, an evening wear, this wouldn't necessarily be an everyday kind of wearing bracelet, but it looks fab with the pattern. <laughs> um, these tins also come with foam in as well. Or you can take the foam out and use it for something else. I mean, it's, I don't have to have the foam in there. It's just that that's one of the ways that they sell them. Oh, here you go. So normally it used to have a circle that went on like that, cover the whole thing. I'm not sure which I prefer. It's quite handy being able to cover the whole thing actually, but it's kind of quite cute like that too. Um, okay, so next up we've got another round one and this one, I don't know if you can see, it's got a slight lip in it and um, it's a hard to get off <laughs> it's not too bad it's just a snug push down one but it's a nice size if you don't want one quite that big it is a nice size I do also do a bigger tin but I don't get that from this company um, and that's that is quite chunky that's quite nice as well right so my last circle one is this little lip balm pot so if you do lip balms and stuff these are Fabaruni because they are twistable but you could also do them as little candles all sorts and then I can customize the top for you so again I've just used this pattern um, because for the photo shoot I needed all things the same kind of thing but um, yeah you could have your logo on there or a picture of lips I don't know loads of options okay so now going on to rectangular tins now the lid isn't actually on this very well because I've not stuck it down properly. It's just a demo, like I said, for the photography. But I had a go at doing one that said repairs. And inside is a little sewing kit. And it's got scissors and extra safety pins, tape measure. It's a really cute little set. So um, I do these as plaster tins at the minute. As, but I'm thinking of doing repair tints as well because I think that's quite fun and then we've got two more little tins they are the same size but one has an inset lid like that and one doesn't and this one it goes quite up close to the edge actually it fits really nicely and I mean they are both uh, no I'd say they're both the same same size they look different but I think that's just purely because of the insert. But they're quite sweet. I wonder what, how much you could fit in those. I think they might even be better for the little sewing kits actually because they're a bit smaller. But I really like that size tin. Okay, more rectangles. Rectangles! Look at this. I was so excited when this arrived. Look. I'm a sucker for tins. 
I love tins so much. Look at this. It is just so nice. I put notes on it. Do you know why? Because I was trying to think of things that you could use the tins for. And sorry, my fingers are so cold. I can't open it. And in here, I've done a little notebook in the same pattern and a pen in the same pattern. I thought this would be a really nice little set to do um, at some point or another. I could do the children's uh, illustrations on this side and then have little activity books inside, you know, matching pen, stuff like that. So that is really, really cute. I love that. And there is also, oh, here it is. It hasn't got its thing on, hang on. Come out. So that is the smaller one and this is the bigger one. The thing that's quite nice about this one is it's got the milled edges around the bottom as well. It just sort of feels a little bit more substantial but that's rather nice actually and then inside it's a, I've got a spare, go on out, spare thing but it is quite a nice tin. It'll fit A5. Need to find something that's A5 now. One sec. Oh, it does. Look at that. That's A5. Fits perfectly. I think if I made something slightly shorter than A5, I could even fit a pen in. I could fit one in across the top. Yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can get some more and do them as a part of my patron boxes this month. <laughs> so that's the other rectangle. Okay, so the next one up is squares. So this was a new release last year, I think it was. Um, I actually gave one of these, I've done one of these in my patron boxes before. So at Christmas, this had a wooden jigsaw puzzle in it. Um, I quite like the square ones because a lot of my illustrations fit better on squares. But this is a lovely tin and I have loads of these in stock at the minute, which is good. And then this is the jumbo one. I don't have many of these in stock at the minute at all. Um, and the, the ones that I originally had in stock had much smaller ones of these because it was quite hard for them to do the corners but actually they've done a fab job and they made it much bigger so now it just looks like it steps down it's really good so this one i've done this has also been a patron gift um a while back and I'm trying to think what else i've done it on in fact i think it was the first subscription box that i did before i moved over to patreon The last tin I have from this company is this little heart. It's so sweet. Okay. And um, it's just beautifully made. And this is actually out of just one piece. So it's been punched from metal sheet, but it's really nicely made. And you could do like little night lights in there. Um, you could do lip balm, but I. I, th I think the twisty one's better for something like that. Um, little tiny keepsakes. You could put a ring in there. Lovely set of stuff. So that's all the tins. Anyway, so I promised you I would show you. And that is all the tins. Now, the other thing that I said that I would show you, I have not actually printed yet. So it's not quite as exciting, I'm afraid. But, sorry, me being noisy. It is a new product that I'm thinking of doing and they have given me to test out. So this is this is the first item and you sort of think what the hell is that? It's actually for hanging scarves, rosettes, medals, all sorts of things. And when they first did them, they were doing them without the without the MDF but they are cutting MDF now and putting it on. And they've got holes 
on the top so you can hang them up and I can basically print this entire area so I could do um, I think this is slightly too narrow for um, scarves but it would work for ties it would work for necklaces necklaces would look quite good hanging from there um, watches bracelets oh, there's loads of options actually um, and I quite like that this is the 0.5 thickness they also do a 0.7 thickness so it's it's not as bendy but I think when it's mounted on here you're not going to really notice the thickness anyway so we've got that one and then they sent me a different back that they were experimenting with as you can see it doesn't go all to the end but because it's all one piece it's not too bad and this would be quite good if you wanted to put things that are quite narrow to clip on maybe hair clips um I suppose you could probably get badges on there as well actually put badges along there anyway that is another option um next up we've got the double whammy again they sent it in two different sizes but actually they've sent it in two different shapes slightly as well now i rather like these because you could have you could even hang your uh hoop earrings stuff like that it's only got mdf top and bottom it hasn't got mdf on this one so this bit would be perfect for earrings and things in fact i've got a punch i could always punch holes in there if you're a stud wearing person not if you are a stud because that's very presumptuous of me <laughs> and this is a really nice big area that you could put information on or you could have like a name or an illustration or so i think this would look really nice the one that I think is going to be most useful and I'm actually going to test out for scarves will be this one. Can you see the gaps are much, much larger. Full MDF covering on the back. And you could either get the scarves through here. I did have a scarf on a minute ago. I knew I had a scarf. So, I mean, that's double layer, and you could either have it so that it goes over there and maybe in here, like that, and then have another layer here. It would hang out slightly, mind. Um, or you could do necklaces, jewellery again. About children's bobbles or um, companies that make bows you know the clip clip on bows and stuff like that that might be quite fun as well so I want to try that as well I will probably do an offer for my VIPs to see if anyone would like to road test one of these okay and then the last one that they've sent me I am not as happy with I think actually this was the one that I originally ordered but I don't think it's as stable as I would have liked it to have been. As you can see, I'm taking it out of the packaging yet. Okay, so this one is if you have medals and things like that and you want to slot them on the side, okay? So if you have something doo -doo -doo, that you want to hang, the only thing is these are quite flimsy because they've only done MDF to the edge. If they did MDF to all the way along to there, it would be great, but it still would be quite flexible and the MDF might break. But it is quite handy having the gap there if you are putting medals on and things or rosettes or something like that. So that is another one to try out. exciting so I am super lucky to have been given all these um, samples to test out and try so I will be carrying on with those at some point I need to submit my photos to them now for all the other bits that you've seen and let them know what I think of those 
And then I think that is actually the end of this week's vlog. It's actually Monday today. Yes, this vlog has taken a little while to do. Um, and normally I start a vlog on a Monday. Yeah. I'll probably start the next one in a minute. <laughs> Oh gosh, this homeschooling is exhausting. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and warm my fingers on another cup of tea and I will catch you next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, at some point, I'm hoping to redo my illustration at the beginning and the end because I did those over a year ago and it was the first time that this animation element had come out in Procreate. So um, yeah, I think I can do better now. <laughs> maybe not all right then i shall catch you next time thank you so much for watching see you soon don't forget to do the subscribey thingies and check me out on patreon see you later bye <laughs>